Welcome back to my Flagstaff home. I am making a little lunch for myself and thought I would share with you the recipe. As those of you who have watched my vlogs in the past, you've already seen this. So, But anyway, this is a gnocchi recipe and you can get gnocchi on the shelf in most grocery stores in the uh, pasta aisle. Um, also stores like World Market, Cost Plus, carry gnocchi. This is gluten-free, actually. I'm not, I don't have to avoid gluten, but I am allergic to wheat, so I avoid wheat as much as possible. So, so um, I purchased this online. If you are gluten-free or wheat-free, I will put a link to where you can get this on Amazon in the space below. But uh, this is a super easy recipe. Might not have, might have some ingredients you wouldn't expect to have in um, a gnocchi recipe, but let me go ahead and show you what's in it. So in this recipe, of course, we have our gnocchi, which is right here in this bag, and also some butter. This is a butter alternative, but so you want to have some butter or butter alternative, some shredded Parmesan cheese, Tabasco, Dijon mustard. Can you believe that? It sounds really unusual, doesn't it? And some salt and pepper. So you start by putting your gnocchi into boiling water. And then what's gonna happen inevitably is that it stops boiling once you add it in. And so you need to let it return to a boil. And then what you're looking for is for these little pillows of gnocchi to float. Now, some people say when they float, they are finished, but that is not necessarily the case. Anne Burrell on Food Network would say that they're not finished when they're floating, that they need to be cooked just a little bit longer to make sure that they're cooked through. So what I do when they get to the point where they're floating is I just kind of take a fork or my finger, you know, I'll kind of spoon one out and then touch it with my finger and see if it seems like it's cooked. So you, that's how you do it. It really does not take very long to cook these, just a few minutes once it's boiling. Okay, then when the gnocchi is draining, you put in your butter or butter alternative, a little bit of um, of your Dijon mustard and just kind of start with a little bit and see what you know you want to do it according to your own taste and then I would say don't do any more than like maybe 10 splashes of Tabasco but it, that's if you like things to be spicy otherwise just do a couple and so we're just going to do that and we're not adding the Parmesan at this point and just kind of melt it all in okay so now I poured the the gnocchi in here and just kind of mix it around so that it gets coated with that butter mixture. And then just put in a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. Once again, you can kind of experiment with that and see if you want more or less of it. Then I add in a little sprinkle of pepper and some salt, but what I like to use is a crunchy salt. It's called a, like a finishing salt. This one is, uh, can you see how they're sort of flakes? This is uh, called Malden salt. But you can just do, use regular salt, but just use a little bit. And that is really it. You just take it up, serve it up in a little bowl for yourself, and it makes a very filling, you're not gonna eat all of this at one time, um, a very filling, tasty meal. It's as easy as that, you guys, and very tasty. Mmm, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So that's it for today's video. If you are not a subscriber to my Flagstaff home, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is pretty often. Love to have you come along with me on my Flagstaff home. Take care, you guys, bye.